Okay, we're back. And I've got you guys kind of over my right shoulder. And uh, hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. And like I said, we're going to start by, I'm going to move these paints kind of out of the way for now. Out of my way anyways. And um, this is going to come down a little bit. I'm going to come back out just a touch and let y'all watch what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to add this blue, which is kind of thick, so... And your, your colors will do that. They'll thicken up while they're sitting, while you're getting ready to do something, while you're mixing other colors. They'll, uh, they'll thicken up, and so you have no option but to do it right. Don't get in a hurry and rush things and mess yourself up. So, all right, so I'm going to pour this on. It's still a little thick. Add a little more water to this. This is basically our base that we're going to be dragging our um, other colors through. They're going to be reacting to. So, we want it to have good movement. All of my paint is mixed with two-thirds paint, one-third Floetrol, and water to consistency. Uh, try not to do a lot of water. You know, never you want to get, you don't ever want to get more than like 15-20% water ever really. Um, I would say even less than that if you can help it. Um, because the water just, it, it's it's not, like the Floetrol is, is made with um, the same kind of polymers that are in the paint itself. So it's just uh, a recipe that kind of allows the, uh, the paint to move easier, um, gives less friction when they're moving amongst one another. It's really designed to use with sprayers, uh, paint sprayers. Those of you that are professional house painters uh, know exactly what flow is for. Um, but those artists out there in the world that like to experiment, like me, I'm kind of a science junkie to begin with, so fooling around with other things with paint was just right up my alley. It's like, oh yeah, additives? Sure, let's let's try that. Alright, I'm just kind of playing around with my base here and um, kind of uh, getting a little bit of these other colors uh, to kind of mess with my lighter blue here as they merge together. I'm not doing anything specific other than I want that color to kind of wash in a few of these spots up here at the top too. Nothing heavy though. I don't want anything heavy there because this has got to show up what is going to be our um, our jellyfish. So the sides I'm not going to worry about. I can always mix up enough paint to uh, do the sides specifically brush them on if I have to. Um, if the paint turns out to be enough on the canvas to kind of slide it over there then I'll do that but for the purposes of the type of painting that I'm trying to do and accomplish we're going to uh, not even worry about them and I've got plenty of this blue left over so that'll help do the sides too. So there we have it. That's kind of our base ready for our pour. Now these I'm going to double check make sure everybody's nice and uh, fluid because we want it to be able to move and for the body of the jellyfish I've got to try to keep it real simple and I'm gonna really kind of utilize the sticks my stir sticks when I put the body on because I want to have that um, fluid dynamic style where we've got the sails and um, while I'm thinking of it I'm gonna add a little bit of our blaster uh, silicone to my colors just a little shot in each one um, including the black um, I'm not gonna put any in the white I've discovered that it really doesn't change anything about the white the white's gonna do what it's gonna do whether you got silicone in it or not so 
get our colors mixed up here. And this, these are our colors for our body of our um, uh, jellyfish. And I am going to put a little touch of the silver in with the body, but not a lot. I want mostly the silver for the tendrils that are going to come down. And so those are ready. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a mix in the cup. Ooh, that's thick. I thought it was ready. I'm not judging my colors. My consistency is very good today. Um, oop, sloppy. It's cold out here today, and that might be part of the reason why everything is taking a little extra water. Um, I'm not used to really working in cold atmosphere, cold conditions, so... That might be why I'm having these little errors of judgment. Forgive me. I'm really excited about launching this new collection that I'm doing. Everything I do tends to lean quite often to anything na nature um, oriented. Um, just does. That's just me. Um, I have a thing for the ocean and the sea. And uh, I just, I can't help it. Uh, that's my, that's my stuff. That's my jam, you know? Um, I'll give this just a little tiny stir. Not much. Okay, so here we go. Here's our body to our top, our biggest jellyfish. I'm going to try to keep just the general um, shape that I want. And I'm going to do a smaller one down here. Keeping my shape. And another one up here. And I really think that I need one that's like here. We'll see how he does in the deep. Okay, so as you can see, that's going to start its little spreading. I'm going to take my uh, my stick here, and I'm going to drag this down just a little bit on the side so that we can get that kind of bell shape. It's that hooded look that I need to happen. Kind of a, a drag kind of thing, trying to get that hooded look of my jellyfish. He doesn't have to be perfect, remember, with abstract art. And now here comes the fun part. For my tendrils, I'm actually going to pour some of this concoction into this popping bag. And get it to come out. There it goes down into the bottom where I want it. And I'm going to pour my silver down in there. I can feel it hitting my finger. I have to make sure I don't lose my little protection there. A little touch of the black. And I do mean a little... Ooh, I haven't stirred that silicone. A little touch of the black. Followed by some more of my other colors. And I'm just putting a little. Um, some of my white, which has also gotten thick sitting here. This is tricky. There we go. Come on, bag, open up for me. A lot more of my silver in the mix. Now, give it a little mix squeeze. And here we go. Mmm.
The hole in my bag's too big, I'm afraid. Alright, so all is not lost, like I w I've been trying to tell everybody. Um, when it comes to this kind of work, um, uh, it's abstract. Let's, let's work with it. So, that's much larger than I wanted the tails to be. But here's what I'm going to do now. In my little mix cup, I'm going to add some of my silver. I love the way the black's working out. Put a little bit of this yellow ochre in the silver. And I mean a tiny, the tiniest of black in that. And definitely some of the white. Okay, I'll give this a little wacky do stir. And then I'm going to dip in this and I'm going to drag thinner little morsels of tendrils into my my jellyfish here so sad that this didn't work out but believe it or not it's it's gonna work out because that's what an artist can do. They can make things work. Wow. I see where the concept will work. And I will be perfecting it. Okay. So our body needs to get a little bit larger here. Typically in this kind of painting form, we get the, the beauty of getting to um, tilt our canvas, but in this, I'm not going to get to do that. Some blue on top of that. I love this guy right here. Don't mess him up, Shannon. <laughs> that is one of my biggest downfalls right there. So I have a tendency to jack with things too much. Don't we all, though? Some point in time, don't we all? You're saying, oh, she's messing it up. You'll see, he'll be fine. This guy might be off in the distance. Or just a little tiny baby. Let's see who he turns out to be. Oh, look. I'm liking it. Alright, so. Do a little bit of fix. A little quality control here. Thank God we had some blue left over. Yep, yeah, there we go. right here needs a little bit of separation of the tendrils as does this don't think for one mo moment that every artist doesn't have some types of corrections that they have to to do in some of their work from time to time now not all of them are willing to show you that they make mistakes but they do they all make mistakes. Now 
Wow, right, this guy's going to be groovy when he's done. Very groovy. I like. I like a lot. Kind of mix in my ocean a little. Kind of helps to find my, my nice jellyfish here. Wow, groovy, groovy. And where's my silver? more of those small tendrils. Looks like jellyfish to me. How about to you? We got movement stretching there. I don't want it to do too much of that, so I'm going to tilt it back up a little bit. Got my tendrils kind of go back up towards the tops. Yeah. And there we have it. I hope you guys like it. Have a good day, and uh, I'm going to work on these sides, and uh, then I'll post some pictures. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe.